There is a famous children's poem written in Russian by a Jewish poet, Vadim Levin. The poem is called A Silly Horse. It is about a horse that had two sets of shoes, one good ones and one worn out with holes. If the weather was nice, the horse would put on the good shoes. If the weather was not so nice, the horse would wear the shoes with holes. But if the weather was really bad, the horse would walk around without shoes at all. The moral of the poem is that, of course, you need to take care of your shoes. You need to make sure that they won't rip. You need to clean them. But shoes are made to be used, not to be placed in a display in a museum. When people come into Orthodox synagogues for the first time, they are often surprised, especially comparing them with temples of other religions. These synagogues sometimes look untidy. Children are running around, books on a table, booklets scattered all over. In many other religions, their temples are often referred to by people in their attitudes towards them as sort of museums. When coming to a synagogue, people often expect to see the same attitude. But Jews look at their synagogues as their homes, not museums. There are people who have a great respect for Judaism. For them, it is a memory of the past, a tribute to a great culture, brilliant wisdom, the history of our ancient people. They treat commandments as family heirlooms. From time to time, they get this relic out of a safe and look at it. They show it to their children, maybe even their guests, and quickly put it back under a lock. On the wall of their house, they have a picture of a Hasidic Jew dancing with a Torah. In their china closet, behind a glass, they have a Yarmulka, a kippah, maybe even a talit. They have Jewish books on their shelves, but they keep it on their top shelf because they don't want mischievous children to reach them. And maybe they'll ruin them. Somewhere in a box with family's most precious possessions lies a mezuzah that they brought once from Israel. The commandments are for great holy rabbis. The laws of the Torah were meant to be kept by the Jews who lived in Jewish shtetlach, towns in Europe. If I lived in Jerusalem, I would have kept every mitzvah. This attitude reminds me of a horse that walked in good shoes only in sunny weather. Everyone needs to wear shoes all the time. But the worse the weather is, the more there is a need for shoes. Mitzvot are needed for every Jew. And the worse the spiritual weather is, the greater the need for mitzvot is. Great respect for Judaism is a wonderful thing. But like shoes, the commandments, mitzvot of the Torah, are given to us to be used. 